today we're going to tell the story of the Chainsmokers concert, like what even happened, the weeks going up to it, and just everything about it. Um, so, where do we want to start? The tickets? Yeah, the winning. So I'm just sitting at home one day and Haley texts me and is like, what? I said, call in and I want to go to this concert. So I'm like, okay. So the week prior, I had called and won Katy Perry tickets, or actually not even a week prior, like a few days prior, I called and I won Katy Perry tickets. So I was on a lucky streak. So then I go and I'm like, let me try chain smokers. I can have good luck here. So it was like at three times every day, about like 210, 310, and 410 or something every day. I call. The first, like the first couple times I called, no answer, or call busy or whatever, the first few times, then the next few days I call, then one day I have about, no actually I only have two phones in my hands, and I'm sitting there, and my mom's phone picks up, and they tell me I won the tickets, and I was ecstatic, is that a word? Yeah. I was ecstatic and I call Haley and I'm like, all right, this Friday we're going to go to Chainsmokers. This was June 2nd, I think. So then I'm, I go over Haley's house and I say, this is a few days later, I say, let's try to win another pair of tickets. So Haley can tell this part of the story because this is her. Um, okay. So I just called in. I had, we had four phones, right? Yeah. I had two, she had two. And we were calling in around like five-ish. And I didn't think I was gonna get through. I almost gave up, but Joe was like, no, keep going. So I dialed and kept calling a couple more times and then I won and I didn't believe that I won. I thought this was like a prank or something. But then I ended up winning and I was so happy. So at this point, we had four tickets to see the chain smokers. Now, with each pair of tickets, your name gets put into a drawing to meet the chain smokers. So, I was, we had a really good chance at this point. There was a bunch of spots, but we had just claimed two of those spots. So we're about a day before the concert. And you can explain this part, what happened. We got a message that we won a sound check and a meeting great with the chain smokers. Hi Sabrina, this is Devin calling from Kiss and Wait. I was just calling to let you know that you're one of our chain smoker um, winners for the meet and greet and sound check tomorrow. I'm gonna to email you with all the information, but if you have any questions, just give us a call back at 781-663. Congratulations. Okay, so we get that message. So it's all crazy. So Hannah and her friend go take two tickets and me and Haley go. So me and Haley go to the sound check. Now, we're in traffic. We left like an hour and 10 minutes before. We're sitting in traffic. It shouldn't even take that long to get there, but the traffic just made it longer. We get there finally. It's however much past the time we're supposed to be there, but it was okay. So we're trying to find it, and uh, what ha we couldn't even find the place. So then I'm like, let's go into this building. We go through. Then there's like this red banner, right? And it's like mm -hmm. VIP. And the guy's like, big guard. He's like, are you coming for the meet and greet? So we said yes. So we go through, we go up the stairs, wait, and then why don't you tell this part of the story about the lady? Oh my god, this lady was so rude. She was so salty. She goes, name, and I said Sabrina Roberts, because that's my mom's name. And she goes, you're not on here. Go check with that guy, like check your name with that guy plaid shirt so we went down and we're like where's our passes and then we got them but they were still salty yeah so then this older guy gives us he's like wait the younger guy comes down he's like here's your passes you go up the stairs you go through to like this part of the TD garden with like a snack bar and whatever we're sitting there and there's a big line of people going towards this like thing. We can't see it though. So special. What's going on? 
don't know what's happening. I know. What, are, what do you think we're doing? I don't know. So then, he's like, okay, now it's time for the meet and greet. After waiting, what, 20 minutes? Just sitting yeah. there. So, um, we go. And it's... We didn't realize the whole time that line was to go see them. Now, they call it a meet and greet. Don't you think a meet and greet is at least, what, more than 10 seconds? But no, we go. First of all, we get in line. Haley pulls out her phone. <laughs> the man, the, the scary guard goes, listen to instructions and put your stuff on this table. And he didn't really tell us that. So we had to put, that was a little scary. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get thrown out. So then we go around the corner. There they are. Haley's like, oh my God, they're real. Just two, <laughs> two men. I thought it was, I thought chain smokers was a big band, but no, two men. So we're in line and then we finally go up to them. I did not look them in the eye. All they did was shake their hand because I was nervous. You know, you get starstruck or whatever. I don't know. It's it's a good band. So I, I don't even think I looked in the eye. I just shook their hand. We got the picture. I'll put that in there. Even though the the professional picture never got, the link never got sent to us. All I have is like the, the picture of the guy who ran the contest from Kiss 108. Yeah. He took it with his iPhone. I'm so mad we didn't get the real professional picture, but I'll put that in there. And um, that was exciting, even though a meet and greet should be more than 10 seconds of just a picture. I thought it was you actually meet them and greet them, but no, it's, they should have called it picture time for 10 seconds. So then we go back around, gather our stuff from the mean guard, and then we wait back in the same area with the snack bar and the TD garden. We just met them. So awkward. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Gonna go to the sound check probably. And then they're like, okay, now it's time for the sound check. check. So you wanna tell this part of the story? I feel we, like I'm just taking over all of it. You can tell this part of the story. Okay, we go on to the floor of TD Garden. And, it, and there was maybe like 30 people there. 40? <laughs> I'd say more like 60. 60 people. I don't know, I don't know. But, um, I'm sorry. Go. I should not add in, you. add in, I need help. Okay, SOS. one minute, one minute, okay. Um, I don't know, there was a good amount. Just went to the sound check. Oh. No photos allowed in there. Strict guards walking everywhere, but how did you think it was? It was good, I thought I was gonna die. My whole body was shaking. Yeah, it was so loud and we were really close too. You know, fun time, right? Yep. So it's vibrating through our chest and we're just like, oh my God, we felt it. And then that ended after 10 minutes or whatever. So then we go up to our seats, waiting for Hannah and Abby to get there because we literally cannot leave the place until every, what? Until the concert's over. Yeah. We're, once we're in, we're in. And um, we were the only people, the only people in the stadium. We like watched all the people go for their pit seats. It was fun. Six, six, seven, seven, ten, ten. Check one, two, Here, I'm so confused. <laughs> nice acting skills, Haley. <laughs> Look at there's nobody down there. We're literally the only ones in here right now. It's kind of confusing. Oh, wait, there was one. Here first. I feel like we're, we're the first ones in the concert, but look at all those people like waiting so to go. Illegal. illegal. You're the one who said come up here because you said 5 30, they're open doors. And I just well, yeah, it's because... five. Let's see what time it is 5 33. So we should be up here. They're gonna be right over there. Here they come, you know, we're just up here. They have to make it to that stage. Who's gonna be there first? That guy's. Now we're just waiting for the concert to start. I mean, we're like the only people in here. We're meeting at that Hard Rock Cafe in Daniel Hall. 
we are? No, like, oh, at, at the end. end. Okay. Don't fall down there, or? What? Or what happens when you fall? You're dead. Not necessarily, unless you're... Oh look, there's the Sacred Bridge. Kaylee, you can't go down an up escalator. This is, yeah, we're literally in the back right now of the ah. stage. Ew, who wants to sit here? Who, who would sit here? We are like over there. Who pays to sit here? I don't know, look at the people in the pit there. Let's see if they wave back. No. During the concert, amazing. But the one thing was, Haley, share this. Oh, and there's pot. Yep, the whole time, <laughs> all we did was get blown in the face with pot. My sister texts me, oh, if you want to know what spot smells like, now is your chance. So I'll probably secondhand smoke. crazy night then we oh remember the raffic guy um when we were getting <laughs> in the car <laughs> so we finally got picked up by mr roberts after there's so many like people like hugging each other and going yeah after those drunk people so then mr roberts was picking us up so he finally picked us up and we got in the car and there's this guy who's like like freaking out at people <laughs> on the street and then he like flipped you off yeah so then <laughs> So then I like knocked on the window and he like held a few piece of paper like that and then he went like this and then he like stuck his middle finger up. Here's the second finger, not the middle finger. But he did that with his middle finger. And it was just crazy. Yeah. Is that it? The crazy night of the chain smokers. And it um, only cost us zero dollars with the chicken nuggets and soda that we had to buy because we were so hungry because we couldn't leave. It cost us each, what? $10. Ten dollars. $10 night. Great night. At least wanted to share that story. Great concert, right? The concert was good. Yep. Anything else? A lot of good effects. Good effects. Fireworks. Any crazy other things that happened? Just the free tickets on the radio is crazy. Now I might be going to Katy Perry in September for the free tickets. Why are you getting those? Not sure. She still hasn't emailed me, so I don't know if they're ever going to come. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that vi uh, video slash story. Don't forget to comment down below. Any ideas? Subscribe. Hit that like button. Why wouldn't you subscribe? It's a great channel. All it takes is a little click of the button. <laughs>